Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to make a cycloid of a circle. So this is the question. A circle of 40 mm diameter rolls along a straight line without slipping. You have to draw the curve traced out by a point P for complete one revolution means from 0 to 360 degree. And you also have to draw the tangent and normal to the curve at a distance of 35 mm from the straight line. So let's make a circle of 40 mm diameter. Now draw the diameter lines. Now after making diameter lines, divide this circle into 8 or 12 equal parts. In this case, we are going to make a division of only 8 equal parts. For that, take a protector and make a point at 45 degree from both the sides. Take a scale, make a line from this point towards the center and extend further towards the profile of the circle. In the same way from this side also. In this way you can divide your circle into 8 equal parts. Now make a horizontal line equal to the circumference of the circle. In this case it is 125.6 mm and make this point as P. Now divide this horizontal line into 8 equal divisions. For that take a scale and make an inclined line of 8 cm well, I'll take 8 cm because I am going to divide this inclined line it into 8 equal divisions. So I can easily take a 1 1 cm points so that it easily divide it into 8 equal parts. Again take a scale, join your last division to point P with the help of line. Again take your scale forward and make a parallel line to the original line. Again take a scale forward to the another division and make a parallel line. In this way, make a parallel lines from all the equal divisions toward the horizontal line to make this horizontal line into eight equal divisions. Now from the circle, extend six to line further and it represents the center line of the circle of the revolution. Now take a scale and from one dash, make a vertical line. After that, take your scale to the second division and make a vertical line. In this way, make a vertical lines from all the equal divisions from 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash and 8 dash and give the nomenclature to all the points as from C1 to C8. C represents the center and 1 to represents the equal divisions. Now extend your lines horizontally like this and also from 5, 3 and also from the point 4. Now take a compass and open your compass equal to the radius of the circle and put your compass at C1 and mark an arc on the line represents from point 1 in this way. Now again take a compass, put at C2, mark an arc on the line which represents the point 2. So we will mark over here as it represents the line 2. Now again put your compass at C3 and mark an arc over here as this line represents the point 3. Again take a compass and put at C4 and mark an arc on this line as this line represents the point 4. Again put your compass at C5 and mark an arc over here as this line represents the point 5. Again take your compass at C6 and mark an arc over here as this line represents the point 6. Now again put your compass at C7 and mark an arc over here as this line represents the point 7. In this way you can find the intersection for the cycloid. Now with free hand you can join these intersection points up to point P and it represents the cycloid. Now next we are going to make a tangent and normal to the curve at a distance of 35 mm from the straight line. So straight line we have a 8p and and from this 8p line we are going to make a line at an distance of 35 mm and it cuts over here. After that take a compass and open your compass at a distance of whatever the radius of the circle. In this case it is 20 mm and mark an arc over here and from this intersection take a line downwards to the horizontal line and from this intersection make a line towards and it represents the normal to the curve and we know that if we want to make a tangent you need a protector 
and make a point at 90 degree and mark a line over here it represents the tangent to the curve so in this way you can find the cycloid normal and tangent to the curve i hope you find this question interesting if you have any query you can comment in the comment section thanks for watching be happy